Well, we got off to a great start the first uh, eight or nine minutes of the game. I thought we were really active, not just Kenny's three-point shots going in. I thought we were really active defensively and uh, keeping them off the boards. And then after that, we sort of meandered around the rest of the game. Uh, really happy for Kenny. He's worked extremely hard. He, uh, I did recruit him, as we've all talked about, because I saw that he shot the ball and he didn't show that last season, but he's worked extremely hard. and. He was a defensive player of the game against Indiana, so if he can keep doing those kind of things, he's got a chance to have a big-time player. It's, uh, uh, it was an unusual game. Uh, it's unusual when Joel Berry only plays 13 minutes. It's a sprained left, yeah, left ankle, and that's all they're calling. It's all they think it is, but we will take x-rays to make sure. But uh, uh, just told them to keep him back in the locker room. Uh, you look down, you still got four guys in double figures. Uh, you out rebound them badly, but they were a, a team that came in getting 38% of their misses. Uh, we held them to eight offensive rebounds, so that part's good. We shot a good percentage, they didn't, but we're, no, I'm not trying to cut anybody down. We're more gifted, but I did like some of the things we did early in the game. Uh, other than that, uh, we need to have a couple of great practices because. Uh, now it starts to really be basketball. I'm not saying that it wasn't against Indiana for sure, and that it wasn't against today, but you look at our schedule. We have Davidson, uh, uh, Tennessee, uh, Monmouth, Northern Iowa, Kentucky. I guess that's all the non conference game. I have no idea if that's the order, uh, but all those teams are very good basketball teams. So uh, we hope that uh, Joel will be able to practice between now and Sunday, uh, now and Wednesday. As you can see, I don't even know what daggum day it is, but. Uh, uh, we'll have to wait and see what they say tomorrow, but uh, I'm encouraged about it right now. Boy, where did Kenny have to make the most growth in order to reach this point for his years? I think just getting confidence in himself, Andrew, because I think last year I had a great deal of confidence in him. It was, if I'm not mistaken, and some of you guys might know, I think it was in ACC tournament. Was that his first? Was it Notre Dame or? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, ACC tournament's first 20. You know, they thought it was a shot that won a national championship the way our bench reacted that night. So it was just a confidence thing with him. And he's put in a lot of time. And uh, I've said even last year when he wasn't putting the ball in the basket that he was, uh, was going to be a good defensive player. And I'm not sure he's not our best perimeter defender right now, he and Joel Berry. But uh, it's fun to watch it go in the basket and for him to have those kind of feelings too. You've kind of gone back and forth with uh, Kenny and Nate starting. Earlier in the season, you said it was based solely on performance. Is it still that way? Or no, I said it was based on nothing. Really. You can't tell me I said based on performance because it's who I feel good about at that time. And the other thing to think about is, what did you say, it's four and four now, or is it four and five? Or five and four. Five and in whose favor? Kenny. Oh, then Nate's probably going to tie him up the next game. <laughs> you know, it really is based on nothing. And if you really want to get too deeper than you guys should get, okay, if he hadn't gotten hurt, who would have been the starter there? So why am I going to anoint one guy and end up upset him by changing the lineup? I may change it. I may start Tony at the two guard. You know, it's it's it, right now Theo had earned it by that point, but Theo got injured, and so uh, if those guys play and then Theo comes back, if he comes back, when he comes back, whatever you want to say, and they beat him out at that point, then that would be good. But. Uh, I'm not going to start our manager at the two spot, but anybody else is a, as an option. How much has your schedule been affected as far as practices with all the travel, the ability to get in the gym and work on what you would need to fix? That's been hard. I mean, just think because of all those, you said the travel in New Orleans and uh, Hawaii in a 13 day period with seven games in 13, am I right? I am losing my mind. Seven games in 13 days and trip to New Orleans and back and a trip to. Uh, to Honolulu in those 13 days uh, and over to Maui. But uh, practice time, we got back from the Indiana game. I got home at 3 o'clock in the morning. And so it uh, wasn't a lot. To, we didn't, I think we even gave them Thursday off. Uh, they had to be in class that morning, and everybody made it to class, the first class of the day. And then Friday, we tried to do some things. Uh, and then yesterday, all of a sudden, you quit. A, you think a little bit about helping your team get better, but you also had to start talking about another opponent. Uh, so for us, Monday and Tuesday, we'll have two good days of practice, hopefully getting ready for uh, Wednesday night.